what's the connection? Like I said, it's, it's a personal passion and education you know, for me, especially secondary education. I believe that secondary education is the is the part of education that has the most influence on a person's in life. That's where you know your formative, your formation. That has the most you know, impact on it. The most you know, lifelong, you know, enduring relationships you know you make in life are from secondary, you know, from secondary school. It's at that stage you know where primary school you have been too young, yeah. you know. Um, university you are already formed, and the period you spend in university is, is so short, and there are so many people, so that you really don't have. For well, secondary school, especially boarding schools, those are where form the most enduring relationship and when you hear of the old boy network or it's, it is from secondary school that that happens mm. and so I think secondary school education is extremely important and if you want to influence people I think that is the stage you know where you have you know, the most impact you can make you can you can mold people you can influence you know, their perception of life. You can influence the direction they go, you know, in, in life at secondary school level. So that's why I think it's the most important part of a child's you know, education. Um I my kids, when my kids were of secondary school age, I discovered that there wasn't really the kind of quality, you know, that I had when I was you know, when I was growing up. You know the government took over of secondary schools of education, which was happening in the 70s and the 80s, totally destroyed the fabric of education in this country. So that by the time you know my kids you know I wanted to go to school, I couldn't really find anywhere, you know, that I think or that I thought you know was uh, was good enough. And I wasn't particularly interested or I didn't particularly like the idea. Of sending a 10 year old or an 11 year old you know, to Britain or to America because comes back never really a Nigerian or an African and it does, it's not really a British or an American so they come with a crisis of identity and when I say you form the the, the most enduring relationship you have in your life you get you know, in secondary school if you did it you know, in, in England you will never be part of the fabric of that society. So yeah, those relationships are there, but see, they're not very useful to you, you know, in your your journey of life. Meanwhile, if you're coming back here, all the the things which you need, all the connections you need, you know, to to to, to, to get ahead in society, you have lost it. So I think it's extremely important, you know, that secondary education. So it has always, you know, given these reasons, I, I believe, you know, that say, it's, um, that we should go back and start creating something, you know, that can ensure that we we'll get world-class education and that our children are still in an environment where they can form the kind of enduring relationship which they will need for later in life. So those are really part of the things, you know, that was pushing me, you know, in, in setting up the bottom of college. Less privileged background and actually sponsor them. So those are we have about two or three organizations like that. College Educational Foundation. There's one by the governor, I mean the wife of the governor of Lagos State, you know, that you know, do it and they, they are their feeders. So we and then we look into their background, we do background checks. Because, you know, we've had one or two people trying to sneak in. <laughs> you know, Nigerians are, once they see freebie, they will try. So, once we do it, I mean, there's a long form you have to fill. And then, we then do background check to be sure that what you say it is, is what it is. That must, that must be rewarding, you know, considering that these kids that not will not have been able to afford that kind that of thing. That is, you know, kind of thing that makes them happy. Ordinarily, we have a young lady you know, whose father is a megad, you know, you know those Borno yeah. megads. She's wonderful. 
you know, in the school, one would just is that so that you can't distinguish between okay. who is from a distance and who is black. Everybody wears uniform. Okay. Wear uniform, and even the your your school, you know, out of school uniform. I mean, your housewear is also uniform. So everybody wears the same thing. Okay. So you can't really tell. Okay. Okay. Because okay. To so avoid, to, to avoid, you know, the discrimination. To uh, avoid discrimination. Yeah. But <coughs> there are benefits, honestly, to the school, to the this thing, to profile scholarship student. But what do you think? 